So I've been cutting out the pieces for my scrappy cat and this is the scrappy cat and I am going to be cutting all the pieces. So I know I need four, a front and a back and a front and back of my ears. I need a nose. I could do like they did, they used embroidery thought floss for the lips, a mouth, but I decided I'm actually gonna use fabric. I have a tail, front and back, I have a heart. I have um, two legs at this size, so all I'm gonna do is fold it over and then I'm gonna stitch that up. And I did the same for the arms here. So my first step is now to sew all of these pieces individually, and then I'm going to turn them, and then I'm going to stuff them before I start with the body. Now I have actually flipped all of the pieces. I've sewn them and flipped them. And then I've actually put a little bit of stuffing in each of these four so that the legs hang um, a little bit better and then I'll stuff the inside also. But now is a really tricky part because now you have to actually put all of these pieces where you want them to be in the final cat, but they have to be on the inside of the cat when we're sewing it because all of this on the inside it will be actually on the outside once we flip it. So we just need to align everything and then we're gonna put the top, so good side, good side, goes on top and then we're gonna pin that. So I'll be right back. So now we're all pinned and I'm going to sew it but I am gonna actually leave this part open in order to um, turn the bag and to, or sorry, to turn the doll and to stuff it. So here's my scrappy cat and I kind of love that her leg is askew but I'm going to just um, fill her and then I'm going to sew her shut and then we'll get to see what she looks like. Here by grabbing onto either side where my stitches are then I'm going to lay it flat together like that so you can't see any of the yucky. And I can use a pin like this, or if you have wonder clips, or if you have a binder clip, you can just hold it like that. And then we're gonna do our invisible stitch again. Remember that you want your knot to be on the inside of your animal, so you need to make sure that it goes in and that there are no little thread sticking out so just cut that thread off and pull it through so it's in the inside like so and then I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna sew underneath and I'm gonna grab some of that fabric on the underneath and then I'm gonna go underneath again to the other side and grab some fabric Make sure that my navy thread isn't showing. So if it is, I have to make sure that I do a good job of pulling it. And again, I'm gonna do that again. And I'm going to pull it like so. And oh, looks like I missed a spot. I'm sewing her up right now so that it's intentional that you can see these stitches. And then I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to do another um, little mend on her so that she looks like she's been mended a couple times. So that's my first intentional. You see I intended for that to look like that. It's a design choice. So I'm going to mend her heart because her heart right now is just glued on. So I think maybe what I'll do 
do like the idea of the intentional crisscrosses. So we're gonna try that. Going through here, and I'm just gonna mend her ear. Even though there's nothing to mend, I just want her to look like she's super loved. And I just wanted to thank you for joining us for making our scrappy cat. I think that that's exactly what she is. She's this cute little scrappy cat and now she can live in my classroom too. So she is super loved. Somebody loved her enough to stitch her up a whole bunch of times when she was breaking, even though she's just been made. But anyway, that's my scrappy cat. If you're interested in learning how to do the owl plushie, there's another video and i have one more video coming and that is the fox thanks bye